We all know Glorilla has some pretty popular songs out on the internet. Well, unfortunately, there's the F Jigga Free song. Uh, then there's Nut Quick, which we'll get back to in a minute. And then there's just a whole bunch of, you know, Glorilla type things, bad advice coming from her. And exactly Pukisha type stuff, right? Shout out to the sister. I don't have no problem with her. She's probably a nice person. But you know, Glorilla is not the most intellectual young lady out there. Now, is she? Um, and I'm going to prove it by, you know, just one of the things recently that she said. Now, she was on a podcast with um, Angela Yee, and, um, and she ended up saying something very interesting, right? Uh, now, let me, let, me, let, me just, let me just say this. Uh, DJ Academics also got a hold of this particular podcast, and we're going to all watch it together. And she lets her man do this to her food, okay? So let's go ahead and play that clip, and then we'll come back. He's not, man. Bro, you saw Glorilla talk about she eats semen and food? No, she didn't say that. You saw that, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Nigga, nut on the fry. She about to eat that fry. Bro, this why Glorilla the gold. Wait, bro. Glorilla said that? She the gold. Nah, 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 nah. She definitely could risk me up. 100%. Nah, she did not say that, though. She keep it real, bro. She the gold. Bro, just, that's some he, shit you never supposed said, to you share. Know what, she said that on the Angela Yee podcast when you know they number freaks up there. She said, she said, yo, she asked them, y'all drink nut? She said, they was like, drink nut? Yeah, she's like, drink nut. Glorilla really said that? She bro, said she drink nut. Boat, bro, yeah. She drink that shit it, crazy, bro. man. Like, goop, goop, bro. Like, drink, drink. Like, like, like take a sip. Man. Nigga, she said she have her nigga put it on her food. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me play. Let me play. I think this is it. Drink nut, right. Yeah, everybody yeah. swallow. Okay, we just say swallow. Drink nut sound like, nasty. Drink nut does sound nasty. <laughs> nasty. I actually want to think about we what say she swallow. said. I swallow, I don't drink nut. But go I ahead. It, but I'm looking swallow forward to it. <laughs> like, Stipey. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's just so corny to me. Oh my god, boy, it's like, <laughs> uh oh, I'm scared. It's some weird shit, but okay, type is we just got done eating right. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, just hey, tell us, tell us. Oh. You two are in now. This is, yeah. All right, so type is we just got done eating. Then we had sex right after, and some food. And I'm gonna still eat it. So if you've been not like none of my food, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> It's like dressing. I like it this is. Of my fries real quick, and I'm gonna eat it. None of my fries. That is crazy. <laughs> I've never even that thought to do that. Weird. I've never, never thought. Now, glory to the goat. Now, before I answer that particular statement, I want to play um, an introduction from the Philip Scott experience. Now, he made this clip, you know, promoting a podcast, but I want you to just listen to what he had to say about competing for Pookies and Ray Ray's women. And then we'll come back. So today on the podcast, we're speaking about uh, the competition for Pookie and Ray Ray's women. This message would be more so to the brothers who take care of themselves, the brothers that go to work, have your, you know, your business, the brothers that not getting in trouble, the brothers that, you know, getting passports, traveling overseas, the brothers that's trying to uh, apply themselves in the community, those kind of brothers. And, the message we're going to have for you today is to get you to think a little bit about some of the things you guys are wanting when wanting the women that Pookie and Ray Ray get. Um, we have to expound your mind a little bit on that. And you have to really understand in the position that who you brothers in uh, versus Pookie and Ray Ray and what he has going on. And even those women that desire Pookie and Ray Ray, um, you are in the league of your own. So guys, Here's here's the issue in, in, in black America. And obviously we've made a lot of, of, of content, a lot of debates about certain people in black America. And we just have to come to the realize the realization that some of our people are going to fail. A lot of them are gonna fail because of the mindset that they have. The issue is, is that a lot of these people that are going to fail, some of them are very beautiful. Some of them are thick. Some of them are nice to be around. Some of them are all of that, and as we used to say, in a bag of chips. But some of them are not just for you. No matter how much you like them, no matter how round their butt is, no matter how thick they are, they're just bad for business. And a lot of brothers get upset because you see these chicks, 
You want to date them? Put the clapping sounds. <laughs> you want to get them in the bedroom? But this kind of young lady, no matter how much you think she looks good or she doesn't look good, you will never get that experience with her. And that's okay. That's quite all right. It's a beautiful thing that I'll never be able to experience that from her. I used to get upset like, why does Pookie get to get it? And I don't get to get it. Because what's meant for me is meant for me. And what's meant for thee is meant for thee. Pookie and Ray Ray's women are not meant for me. I'm okay with that. All right? I'm not supposed to be in the hood getting shot. Gunshots? No, 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 no. Dealing with baby mama drama. Gunshots? No, 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 no. Don't hate, congratulate Pookie, brother Pookie, brother Pookie. Brother Pookie, I'm glad you got Glorilla. I'm glad you got Pookisha, brother Pookie. This is what you need in your life. Listen, you're not going to get no problem from me. That's really why a lot of educated black men and, and Pookies and Ray Rays get along. Uh, the reason why is because good fences make good neighbors. I'm not over there where you at trying to take your chicks. I'm not a rapper. I'm not a thug. Look, you go over there and you have at it, brother. I mean, you get all the Pookies you want. Get them all pregnant. I mean, listen, all of y'all have all type of stuff. Just whatever you do, though, brother Pookie, stay away from me. Okay, stay away from my business, stay away from where I'm at, and I'm gonna stay away from where you at. And if you wanna go ahead on and weave and sandal it up, it's all good. And I think a lot of brothers is talking about how ghetto some chicks are and how bad are some chicks are. And you're gonna you're gonna find that in, in, in certain elements, but then as long as they leave you alone, that's all you want. For certain people like this, you're just hoping like, dear God, just as long as she don't, you know, I'm glad I'm ugly. As long as she don't bother me. Because for that dude that she's letting, you know, you know, you know, you know, do whatever in her food, he ain't gonna never marry her. He ain't gonna never build a community for her. And somebody like Glorilla will have his baby, then come looking for a stable black man, such as us, to take care of her. And their answer will be no! So if you want to weave and sandal and Pookie shit it up, it's fine. Let Pookie deal with you in Memphis, Lil Rock, Compton, all that. We good. Look, as long as you leave me alone, I'm straight. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of Subway Drunk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. We're out.